Hello again and welcome to Sometime 4. Today we're working with page 11 and the lesson is called Percentage 8. We're going to talk about higher purchase. Sometimes you see something you would like to buy but you don't have enough money. Very often people buy things and pay for them over a length of time, say three years. This is usually a very expensive way of buying things. Look at this advert for a television. You can buy it cash or credit. The cash price is $2,700. Now if you don't have $2,700 you can buy it on credit, higher purchase, and you only pay $24 a week. No deposit, you don't have to put any money down, and the credit terms are quite simple. For 150 weeks, you pay $24 every week. You can easily afford that, so you decide to buy the television on credit. Ask yourself these questions. How much do you pay if you pay cash? How much do you pay a week on credit? How many weeks do you pay? And how much do you pay in all on credit? Let's work it out together. How much do you pay if you pay cash? $2,700. How much do you pay a week on credit? $24. How many weeks do you pay? 150 weeks. So how much do you pay all in all on credit? Well, 150 weeks times $24, that makes $3,600. I work it out like this. 24 times 100, I just add two zeros, so that makes 2,400. That's 100. Half of that is 1,200. So 2,400 plus 1,200 makes $3,600. So instead of $2,700, the cash price, you're now paying $3,600. You're paying $900 more than the cash price. The $900 is the interest you pay. So let's find out what that percentage is. So 900, which is the interest, over 2,700, which is the cash price. That's the same as 9 over 27, because both numbers, 900 and 2,700, end in two zeros, so we can cancel them out. 900 over 2,700 is the same as 9 over 27. 9 and 27 have a common factor. What is it? It's 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1, 27 divided by 9 is 3. So now we have 1 third and to turn it into a percentage we multiply by 100 and we get 33.33333 forever and ever. So you are paying more than 33% interest. That's a lot. Bye for now.